In this video, we're going to look at how to create a Valentine's promo flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So here are the resources that I'll be using in this video. I'll leave a link to download it in the description. Download, practice and send me your templates or what you come up with on Instagram. Let's get interacted. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. So here in the magic world of Photoshop, we're going to use Photoshop CS6 for this, but this should be applicable to any of the versions of Photoshop. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to file and then new. And I want to create a size of 8 or 4 by 4 inches. You can use 8 by 8 if you want the resolution to be a bit higher. So I'll go ahead and click OK when I'm done. Okay, so we can go ahead and start with the background creation. And the colors that I went for is as a result of we want to create something for Valentine's. I got some cakes, I got some ice cream, and then the color of Valentine is actually red. So I went for something chocolate and then something reddish that is the chocolate and then the valentine so what we want to do is we want to go to the layer adjustment over here and then we want to pick the gradient now we open the bar over here and i'll scroll down because i've already set my colors but these are the hex codes that i used if you want to use the same thing so this is the first one and then at the very end of it this is going to be the second one so what you do afterwards is you go ahead and you click ok and then you come to the style over here left click on it choose radial and then you go to you leave the scale at 100 you go to this portion and then you set it to reverse so you realize that the reddish part become or centers itself and then the dark and then the chocolate color built around the whole document so after we're done with this we go ahead and then we can click ok all right, so once we're done with this, let's go back to our resources and let's start adding the background. So we are gradually going to build the background together. So I got this pattern kind of thing from Google and I'm going to drop it inside of Photoshop. Now, once I bring it in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up to fill the entire canvas like this and then I'll double click on it. You can right click to rasterize it if you so want to that is if you want to apply any external effect to it now you head over to the blending mode and then you're going to set this to soft light afterwards what you do is you decrease the opacity that is the opacity here you can drag it to the very left side till you get to around 30 percent like that and then you can click on ok you have to remember however that the opacity determines how visible this one can be seen so if you want the pattern to be seen actually you have to increase the opacity so i want to keep mine around 30 40 and if that is so fine for me i'll just proceed to the next one so inside of the resource we have the next one the next item that is going to be the hat over here i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop this time i won't place it on the actual document i'll drag it to the very right side of the document here so that it opens in a whole different document for me i'll double click on the background click ok and then i'll go for any of the removal tools that is the magic one to w for the shortcut so what i'm going to do is i'm going to left click and then it's going to make a selection of all the whites i'll hit on delete and then it removes the background so if you have any background that is just one color you can use the magic one tool to quickly and easily remove the background now what i do next is i'll send this over to the documents that we are working on so i'll bring it over here I'll press Ctrl A and make sure that it is centered vertically. So it is in the middle and then I'm going to push it to the very right side. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to press on Ctrl L to add a bit of adjustment or levels to it. So I'm going to take this slide and slide it down a little bit. I'll go ahead and click OK. Right click on it. We want the color to blend with the actual color that we are using for the background. So I'll right click on it, go to blending options, and then inside of the blending options, I have or we have this thing called the satin over here. Now, the satin basically kind of turn it to something like the chocolate color that we are using. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to reduce the opacity 
or reduce this one a little bit like that let's try to take it up a little bit like this okay so some we want it something like this and let's go back to the main image press on ctrl l again and we're going to take the levels back here again so after you get this what you do is you click on ok so after this you go to filter over here go to blur and then gaussian blur so we want to apply a bit of blur to this one so you take it down or you can experiment with it how blurry you want it to appear so i want to take mine a little further like this and then i'm going to click ok once i get what i want now what i want to do next is i want to right click on it and i'm going to set this also to soft light so it's kind of blends or oh, let's try overlay here i think overlay looks good and i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and i'll drag it to the very left side so we have two of them right over there now once we're done with this we can go ahead and pick the rectangle tool so you pick your rectangle tool and then we're going to create a very nice rectangle over here head over to the layer thumbnail double click on it and then you can change the color to white and click ok now this is going to be readjusted according to the images that we are going to bring in so we can go ahead and add our images now before that why don't we just select all of these ones so you select the first one here hold shift and then you select the second one press ctrl g and then you can group this one to be called the background all right so let's go ahead and add the images let's go into the resource i got some cakes for you you can use any of them i got a chocolate for you i got ice cream these are my valentine gifts for you guys okay nobody should ask me for valentine gifts again so i'm going to pick the cake here do we even use cakes on valentine all right whatever i'm just going to use it so i'm going to bring in my cakes over here or my cake i'll take it down a little bit like this if it feels like it is too big you can press ctrl t and then you resize it according to how you want it okay so once you get it in this place you press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered right over there and then we can go in there again i got the ice cream so the ice cream will come also so i'll bring the ice cream here it is going to be on top of the cake so we can go ahead and resize it like that and then we bring it to the extreme left over here let's place it right over there now the next one that we want to add is let's go in here we have the chocolate so i'm going to drag the chocolate into photoshop i'll place it on top here because it has a background so i'll drag it to the right side and i'm going to double click on it just like we did to the hat choose the w for the magic one tool we're going to make the selection and hit on delete now afterwards we can send it to the work that we are doing that is the documents we can bring it over here and i want it underneath of the cake so i'll send it to the very beneath of the cakes right over there i press ctrl t to transform it a little bit like that and i think this place looks good now once we're done with this we can select all of them and group it and we can call it the main okay so the main you press ctrl a and then you can make sure that it is centered right in the middle press ctrl t to transform it a little bit like that or let's open it a little bit like that now the cake and then the ice cream here really looks like it is holding into or it is in thin air so we need to create some sort of shadow for it so you open the main that is the group that has the images and then underneath of it you're going to create a layer so create a layer and bring it at the very bottom of it you can label it and call it shadows so that you don't get confused so shadows over here and then what we're going to do is we're going to pick the brush to make sure that you right click and the hardness is zero percent now you can zoom in to get the exact places you need to add the shadows to so i'm going to right click again and decrease my size a little bit like that so i'm just going to brush off here you just take your time because you don't want it to be very deep like that so you take your time to brush like that i have my opacity here set to 54 that is why it is also very small also so i'm going to do some small brush like that now after you're done with this still on the shadows if it feels like it is too much for you or if you brushed overly you can even decrease the 
opacity here so that it looks very nice and clean you don't have to make your shadows that very much so after you're done with this you can go ahead and click the main so if i turn up this one you see exactly what we have now that we have our images in place we can then go ahead and bring in our test and we're going to add any other elements to it so let's start with the test so i've already grouped my test here i'm going to name my shop say innocent cakes or what do you think leave a comment in the comment section the name that you want us to call this company we are going to start a cake company or what what do you guys think all right so i'm going to copy the say innocent here and i'm going for my test tool so i want to start with a particular font um, this font is called sfui display i always have trouble finding this particular font so sfui display right over there and then i'm going to left click i'm going to change this color to or paste it first so i just paste it over here select it all and i'm going to change my color to white now what i do is i'll press ctrl t to transform it very simple and small like that and i'm going to press ctrl a and center it now i'm going to push this to the very top part of it i'll leave it over here so say innocent cakes let me know in the comment section what name you want to you want us to give this company we are starting up a company okay so the next thing that i want to do is i want to make a duplicate of this one by pressing ctrl j and then i'll drag it to the very bottom over here i'll go back to my test over here and i have the next one is going to be special so i'll select it Let's come back to select all the tests that we duplicate ctrl a to select it all and then we press ctrl v to paste it so say innocent cakes special and then we're going to add the next test so we go ahead and make another duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we drag it over here let's go back to the test the next one we have is valentine's so we're going to copy that select all of this and we're going to paste it over here but for the valentine's you're not going to use this font i got a very nice font for you it is called i found my valentine have you found your valentine yet so i'm going to open the toggle character over here i don't want it to be that closed so i'm going to select this that is the canning and i'm going to set that to zero i hit on ok and then i can press ctrl t to transform it to be a little bit very bigger because that is the center of attraction so i'm going to bring it over here down a little bit i press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and i know it is already centered so what i'm going to do next is i'll go back to the special here make a duplicate again ctrl j i'll drag it to the top part because i want it to be in a chronological manner so i'm just going to bring it down over here select it all go to my test and i have sale over there so let me just copy this sale and paste it over here for this sale instead of the closed one i'll open the toggle character and i'm going to open the canning something like this one over here now you realize that all of this place it looks so white which is just fine if you want to maintain like two maximum three colors but then we want to make one of these like out first of all the valentine stands out which is nice but how about we select the special over here right click and go to the blending options and then we add a bit of gradient to it let's see how it works so i'm going to select my gradient pick the gradient bar over here and then i'm going to scroll down to pick one of the gradients let's go for this or uh, let's pick this one here this one right looks fine so i'm going to select give you the coordinates this is the first coordinate click ok select the second one this is the second coordinate if you want to use it and then i'll go ahead and click ok now i'll come to the angle over here and i'm going to set that to zero so that it will be linear and then i'm going to click ok but how about we increase the valentine's a little bit more to make it some more bigger bring it down and make sure that it is centered and then we select our seal over here and bring it also down press ctrl a and increase that also as well so that at least there can be a bit of space in between all the tests all right so once we're done with this we can then add a contact list now this is not an actual business if you contact the line on it it is going to come straight to me so i'm going back to my special over here make a duplicate and then i'm going to send it to the very top part over here i'll drag it to the rectangle that we created 
i'm going to right click on it we don't want the gradient on it so i'm going to right click and we're going to clear the layer style over here instead we're going to double click on the layer thumbnail and we're going to change the color to this dark color that we used or you can even go for the red one over here now we don't want to use the sf ui display font we want to use poppins so i'm going to select poppins and i'm going to change this one to semi bold as if semi bold is very bold let me change let me try uh medium over here go to my test that i've written already and i'm going to select the place your order now so i'm going to paste it over here very simple like that and try to open it up some more like this and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to zoom in let me zoom in so that i can see exactly what i'm doing i'm going to select my rectangle tool again and i'm going to create a very small rectangle over here like that i'll make sure that i press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered double click on the layer thumbnail and i'm going to pick the same colors that we are using over here now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to filter blur and this time around i'm going to use the motion blur so it will ask you to rasterize it that is the reason why i almost use rasterize because if you don't rasterize there are certain things you can't apply to a particular layer i explained that in the video above now i'm going to click ok and then i can apply my motion blur so you realize that the more i increase the distance the more blurry it becomes at the very edge of the rectangle and then i can hit ok when i get to the point that i want so once i have this the next one i'll, I'll do is i'll make a duplicate of the place your order here bring it right beneath of it i'm going to select it all go to my test and i'm going to select the set innocent and that is my instagram handle if you want to reach out on instagram so i'll paste it right over there go back to the resource i have these social media handles that i downloaded it is png i'll leave it in the description so i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop and i'm going to place it at the very right side over here so that it opens in another document for me so i'm going to select any of the rectangular market to make a selection over here i want only the instagram handle if you have if you want to use facebook and other social media handles you can just crop any one of them i'm just going to press ctrl j to make the duplicate and i'm going to send it to the work that i'm working on or the documents that i'm working on i'll place it at the very extreme left press ctrl t to transform it like this and then i'm going to right click on it go to blending options over here and i want to change the color so i'm going to use the color overlay over here select my color and then i'll pick the same color that we used in writing the test once i'm done with that i'll just go ahead and click ok ok and then we are done with this one the next one that we want to create is the discount portion so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the ellipse tool or the circle the circle tool and i'm going to hold shift to create a perfect circle like this one the first one that i'm going to create is going to be the color white so i'll select the layer thumbnail and, and select the color white and click ok so i'll make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j double click on the layer thumbnail and i'm going to pick this color right over here so this color or the dark one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop it down a little bit like that quite very simple and inside that i'm going to type 30 percent off but you don't write straight inside of the rounded rectangle so you can write outside of it and bring it in later so i'm going to type in here 30 percent off something like that select it all and i'm going to change the color to white i'll click ok and then i can drag it inside of the ellipse press ctrl t to transform it so that it fits right into the ellipse that we created that is quite very simple right and then we can select all of these ones from this place right to the say innocent group it and then we can call that one the test okay so the final thing that we add is some elements that i got also so i got some splash and i got one hat also so i'm going to add that so the first one that we're going to add is the splash so this is the splash and i've got two hats to actually add so let's first bring this hat shape over here 
and we're going to bring it inside of photoshop that one is already png so you don't really need to go and remove any other background so i'm going to select it and i'm going to transform it to be a bit smaller and bring it right over here i just want it at this place i right click and rasterize the layer right click and go to the blending options and i'm going to add a color overlay to it so you select the color overlay go to the color section and you're going to change this one to the color white you click ok and this is what we have the next one is going to be the fire splash or the splash that i got from free pick so i'm going to drag and drop this over here and i'm going to send it to the extreme left top so top left over here let's keep it this way and the last one that i actually did i did it myself but i just saved it for time sake but what i did is i went to a costume shapes over here so you right click on the shapes go to costume shapes and then i got this particular hat so i did some very rough sketch like this hat i made one you go to the layer thumbnail here double click on it change the color to white click ok and you can make it small if you want to so what i did is i just made duplicates of them so i just make a duplicate bring it down here select all of it make another duplicate and bring it down and afterwards i selected all of them and copied copied it to the very size of it so at the end of the day this is exactly what i got so let me just go and bring in what i got in there so i'm just going to bring the heart shapes and i'm going to place it at the top right press ctrl t to make sure that it is quite smaller and then you can leave it over here and yes that will be pretty much it for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch let me know in the comment section if you gain value out of this and don't forget to check out all the other tutorials that i've made on flyers and especially on valentine's if you want some inspiration to design some valentine flyers thank you so much once again for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye